I'm Nelifa Hidayat. I'm a journalist. You might have seen some of my reports on TV. I've worked for all sorts of people. I've written for newspapers, I've worked on Newsround, a news show for children, and I make documentaries where I look really deeply into one specific subject. Now in my job, I get to travel around the world and meet people in extraordinary sets of situations. Now I've met farmers in Vietnam, fishermen in Ghana, and I've even met people like JK Rowling. And for me, it doesn't really matter how big or small their story is because all stories are important to tell. So now here are my five top tips on making sure you do a really good interview. Number one do your research. Now imagine you get to interview your hero for the local newspaper. Who's that person gonna be? Is it an astronaut, maybe a footballer, maybe you'll be a writer or something I've done in the past, why don't you interview your mum? Now you want to find out the most interesting things about them, where they're from, what they like, what they don't like, and you can go online to the internet to find that out or go to the library and get a book out. Now you want to do as much research as possible because you want the conversation with them to feel really natural. Number two, ask open-ended questions. To try and get really good answers from the person you're interviewing, use the five W's. Now this helps me a lot when I'm doing my job. They are who, what, where, when, and why. There's also an H, which is how. Three. Be prepared for the unexpected. Now I know as good journalists, you've got your questions written down, but sometimes a question about one thing can lead to something more interesting in their answer. So you don't have to stick to the questions that you've written. If your interviewee says something interesting, be prepared to ask them more about it. We call that a follow-up. When I was interviewing Malala Yousafzai in Edinburgh one day, she started to tell me about how much she loves living in the UK. Now, my questions were all about her time in her homeland, Pakistan. But when I found out how much she loves Scotland and the weather and how grumpy she was about all the rain, I found that to be really interesting. So I asked her about her experiences in the UK and we had a really nice conversation about it. Number four take notes too so you don't forget anything. Now, do you think that you've got a good memory? Can you even remember the first three tips that I've given you so far? Well, don't worry if you don't because like me, you should be taking notes in your notebook when you're doing an interview. So when it's time to write things down or to even remember facts later on, you've got them in your notebook ready when you need them. Number five, remember, they're just human, people like you and me. Stephen Hawking was once a boy who liked to look up at the night sky. Michelle Obama was a girl who enjoyed board games and Friday night pizzas. And Malala was a determined young woman who wouldn't let anything stop her from learning. Whoever it is you're interviewing, remember that you probably have a lot more in common with them than you think. Now you can practice interviewing with your friends and family. You might even find out something extraordinary about your teacher because everyone's got a story to tell. I know that firsthand. This is one of my favorite stories. It's Malala's. I'm gonna sit down and have a good read.